Hi everybody, it's BJ with the Salt Lake Running Company coming to you live from Liberty Park. Today we'll be discussing triathlon transitions. We'll show you how to set up your transition so that when you get to your transition area, you know exactly what to do and how to do it. When organizing your transition area, you want to place everything in a manner that is easy to remember and functional for your purpose. I like to put my cycling shoes first, followed by my running shoes and my race number belt. By doing this, it's easier to come in from the water, throw on the cycling shoes. When you come in off the bike, you throw on the running shoes. Everything in order so that it's easy to put on and, and it flows functionally. Okay, so when you're leaving the water, you're going to want to learn how to take your wetsuit off on the fly. My advice is you'll take it halfway down the body and finish running all the way to transition area and then finish stripping the wetsuit right by your transition spot. That way you can leave your wetsuit next to your belongings and it doesn't get lost in transition. I'm going to demonstrate on how to do a proper transition from swim to bike. One other point to remember is when you're doing your transitions, please obey all of the bike safety rules put in place by the race organizers. The one thing you do want to remember is that you're not allowed to mount your bike until you cross the mount line. That goes for when you're coming into transition two, which I will be demonstrating here shortly, is that you have to get off your bike before the dismount line. Follow those instructions and you're sure to have a safe race. So now we're going to go over our checklist. There are many things you're going to need to remember to bring with you to your triathlon. And on the Salt Lake Running Company website, we have a triathlon checklist. Feel free to download and print that off or come into the store and one of our helpful members of our staff will help you find everything you need that you will need on race day. But some of the key essentials that you do not want to leave home without. Number one, let's start with a swim. You're going to need a pair of goggles, probably a spare swim cap, and then if it's an open water swim, you're probably going to want to remember your wetsuit. Moving on to the bike, make sure that you bring your bike, your nutrition that you will need on the bike, your cycling shoes, your helmet, and your race belt. Moving to the run, you're going to want to remember your running shoes, your race belt if it's not required on the bike leg, and also a visor or something or sunglasses to keep the sun off your face. Those are the key essentials, but there are many other accessories that will help you on race day that we will be glad to help you with at the Salt Lake Running Company.